Welcome to my channel, friends. I'm Danny Walker. We have some new Miss Universe arrivals, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. If you're brand new and you love content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications. Today's episode is brought to you by Rehearsed to Relatable. It's where you can go to learn how to stand out in the interview room. So if you're interested in learning more, just click the description below. We have three more countries that have arrived in Florida for Miss Universe, and they are some really big fan favorites. So let's talk about them in these arrival outfits. So we have Indonesia, other huge fan favorite. I've talked a lot about her on this channel. Big fan over here. Her outfit's a little bit different here. I think that it is a lot more classic. She's wearing one of my favorite designers. Oh my gosh, Victoria Beckham's line of dresses. If I could afford those things, my goodness, I, I would have them. I would have Victoria Beckham dresses. The fit of her dresses is insane and the construction of them is insane. Like they make your body look incredible. Probably one of the reasons she's wearing it for her airport look, it's fabulous. She looks beautiful, she looks classy. She's seen here with the Christian Dior bag, ooh. So we're at like all these designer labels. I've seen online that this bag retails for $3,800. Wow, that's, that's a lot. And the pencil dress she's wearing is listed right now for $2,150. Wow. Wow. That's $2,150, friends. Not, not $21.50, okay? Amanda, huge fan favorite, obviously. I love her. I'm a fan. She wore this really, really beautiful three-piece set to the airport, and I absolutely love it. It actually really reminds me of another outfit that I upcycled. It's, it's very similar. The three pieces, the long blazer, the short skirt, that, that whole thing. The look itself is really, really stunning. I love it. It reminds me of like a silk duponi, duponi? fabric, if, if you know what I mean. I, I'm not sure if that's the correct term, actually, now that I'm saying it out loud. But it does remind me of that, and it is beautiful. It's a great color on her. I love all of this styling. Clean, chic, straight hair, always classic on her. The heels are fabulous. They're actually really unique. I'm surprised that she went with the black shoe for this, but they have a little bit of a rhinestone detail on them. Now, the really interesting thing to see here is how many suitcases that she brought. We know that she plans to bring something like 150 outfits to Miss Universe, so I'm really not surprised by that. But, and that, you can kind of blow over that, but when you actually look at the luggage that she needs to make that happen, and I'm sure this is not even including her national costume. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think 14 pieces of luggage, which honestly, I don't think that she needs. I went to Miss USA Friends. It's similar to Universe in a way for their production. So they tell you to bring two outfits every single day. So you need like your day outfit, you need a night outfit. Yes, you, you're gonna need cocktails, but really you're not gonna need cocktail dresses for every single day or evening gowns for every single day. So you really don't actually need that much stuff really don't but she's bringing a ton and you know she's she's prepared so good for her and and she's also made a lot of waves in pageantry because she is sponsored by luxury labels so she's been sponsored by Christian Dior for example and everybody's kind of talking about that we'll talk more on that in just a minute let's talk about our other title holders as well now what we have here is Miss Cambodia and I'm seeing two different airport outfits here so I think one is for her departure from Cambodia and then the other one is from her LA to Florida flight so let's look at the first one here it's it, it's so cute she is so she's so darn happy with her flag I love it I I love the flag photos personally. The outfit is very casual. I don't love this look on her because it is so oversized. I don't mind one oversized piece, but I feel like the wide fit pant and then the fit of the jacket could be a little different. So if she was going to wear that cute little gingham oversized blazer, which I think is actually pretty darn cute, I would have done a fitted pant or it's summertime, wear a short. Wear shorts for that. She could have done a really cute white trouser short. I would have loved that. I think that would have been great. That could have really, really changed up this style a little bit more. And then we see a picture of her and she's just wearing a classic little black dress, long, beautiful, straight hair, and a red heel. Because the style is so simple, I'm glad to see that she has a red heel, a little bit of color, uh, especially for more of a daytime look. If this wasn't an evening cocktail party, you don't need to wear all black going to the airport. Of course, I mean, who wears these types of outfits to the airport, right? Like this is not even real life, 
okay? This is, uh, this is pageantry, friends. So I do really love that she had that just strappy little, little red heel, and I feel like her outfit is very attainable for the everyday girl. Like she could just, anybody could be rocking that. Classic. You really can't go wrong with a little black dress, right? If you love this episode, please give it a thumbs up, but also I wanna hear from you. What episodes do you wanna see next on my channel? Let me know your requests in the comments below because I read them, I pay attention to them, and a lot of episodes that you see on my channel were inspired by viewers just like you. I do wanna mention something about these outfits, okay? Because I know that if I were new to pageantry and if I were hearing all of these things and these crazy, insane designers sponsoring these contestants and you're like, how do they sponsor them? How am I ever gonna have outfits like this? What am I going to do? Nobody's ever gonna sponsor me. Louis Vuitton doesn't love me enough. Okay, I'm never gonna have red bottoms. Okay, like your head can just go spiraling with all of the bad thoughts, okay? Let me tell you this from experience in pageantry. Yes, there are some contestants who are gonna show up to a pageant and they're gonna have designer everything, okay? Went to Miss USA. Quite a few contestants had the big old Louis Vuitton bags and they wore them to all the rehearsals and that's great, that's fine. I'm happy for them. I'm happy that they found some success in life and, and can afford these designers. But I don't want my other contestants out there who do not have those means or resources to feel like pageantry is not for you because you can't afford those things because I was never that contestant who could ever afford those things. Okay, when I won Miss Montana USA, I wore a simple black and white romper to check in with my simple little black strappy heels, a belt from an old dress that I had. The romper that I got was from the Goodwill. Very simple. The check-in outfit that I wore to Miss USA, right here, was something that was actually a gift. It was given to me by one of my coaching clients, which I thought was really sweet and special, and it just fit me really well. I loved how it looked with a tan on, and I went with that. The heels that I wore were a pair that I wore to a ton of different appearances. I don't want you to feel like competing in pageantry is not gonna be possible for you because you see certain contestants with these designer labels. And I will tell you this, they do not care about that at Miss USA or Miss Universe. They do not care. And one of the reasons that they really don't care if, like if you have the designer labels, that's, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But one of the reasons that they don't care or encourage contestants to wear things like that is because it's not relatable. It's because the everyday woman doesn't have the Victoria Beckham dress, does not carry the Christian Dior bag. That's not the everyday woman. I don't know if the pieces that you're seeing the contestants wear are actually theirs or if they're sponsored or if they're borrowed because that could also be the case. And literally no shade on any contestant that can afford to wear those things, who's worked hard for those designer bags. Like if that's what you love and how you wanna spend your money, like awesome, that I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm so glad that you were able to do that. But this message is just for my contestants who might feel discouraged because they can't afford those things. And I just want you to know that that's okay and you don't have to. And also consider these are national title holders that are going to Miss Universe. They have the support of an entire organization behind them. And there's tons of sponsors who are generously providing a lot of wardrobe for them in support of their country, which is an amazing, it's an amazing thing. And that's one of the coolest things that you get to experience through pageantry is working with sponsors. And that's something that I always loved. I got, I had so many opportunities. Heck, you guys ask about my teeth all the time? Sponsored! My teeth were, they were bonded by our dental sponsor. I don't actually have veneers, these are my teeth. And that's something that I could never have afforded by myself, but it just happened to be one of those extra benefits of pageants. And sometimes those benefits end up being wearing these beautiful designer clothes. But I wanted to share that with all of you who are watching this and keeping up with the contestants because I don't want it to discourage you from entering a pageant if that is your dream. If you wanna try this and do this, don't worry. If there is a will, there will be a way. These contestants did not look like this at the beginning of their pageant journey. So keep that in mind and don't let any of that discourage you. I want you to be so encouraged so that you can go out there and achieve your goals, whether it's in pageantry or outside of pageantry. Okay, so please remember that. And also, if you have any favorites in this video, let me know which contestant you are rooting for. And of course, keep it kind. Okay, the contestants watch these videos and we want to be really great examples of what support looks like in the pageant community. So thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you choose to subscribe.